My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the Jetta Galactic Championship Qualifier. If you don't know what the Galaxy's um, Championship Series is, well, welcome to it. It is our worldwide experience here that we have built here by Gold Squadron. It is a Galactic Championship, and today we are in Jetta. We're leading up to our finale happening in November the Battle for Alderaan, the Galactic Championship. 32 people will walk out with qualifiers today, but right now we have Andrew House versus Jeff Weir. I am joined today by William Hagwood. Hello, Dion. Thanks for having me. No problem. And by Raptor James Ritter. Hey, guys. All right, guys, I'm about to open up that Choose Your Champion betting. But before that, let me remind everybody who's watching that today's show is brought to you by Gold Squadron Paint Wars. If you haven't watched it yet, check it out. It is a painting competition, three painters, a prompt, and the judges determine who is the winner. And, of course, all the ships get given away to you, our audience and supporters. So type exclamation point PW if you're watching live or click the link in the description down below if you're watching later. All right, it is time to choose your Champion will break it down. Right. Uh, let's start with Andrew House here. Uh, your bet one old champion on the left here, flying Galactic Reap. Uh, <laughs> nope, Galactic Empire. I said the wrong one. Uh, starting off with a, a group of bombers here, and um, that's Death Rain and the Punishing. Uh, the Punisher, excuse me. Uh, with advanced proton torpedoes, this is the ranged one, five dice attacks. You got diamond boron missiles. Uh, they're the ra uh, they're ranged two to three and uh, can do splash damage if you spend extra charges. Um, of course, thermal detonators to be able to trigger Death Rain's ability to take actions uh, multiple times because you get one off of each thermal detonator drop. And then angled deflectors. I'm actually wait for. Uh, James to get angled deflectors on the screen here because uh, it is a rarely seen card. Angled deflectors. <laughs> it it sure is very uh, interesting. So uh, basically, it reduces your shield by one, so it brings death rain from nine health to eight, um, but adds the white reinforce action. Um, so this is very powerful because Death Rain can take multiple actions. Uh, it's easy for him to reinforce. And on one agility, uh, could need all the defensive help he can get. So very cool combination there. Um, the other bomber, though, is Death Fire, uh, which I'm sure I'll mix up at some point in time. But it'll be fine. Uh, Death Fire is a little bomber uh, who, uh, when he's destroyed gets to drop a bomb or make, or and, excuse me, and make an attack. Um, so he's bringing ion missiles, bomblet generator, and delayed fuses um, for his munitions there. Uh, with them, a pair of Barons of the Empire. Uh, those are the V1s, amazing dials and linked actions. And they're rocking uh, proton rockets. Uh, uh, combos well with their reposition to red-focused actions. 
uh, to be able to get that focus to shoot the proton rocket, uh, which is a five dice bullseye weapon, uh, range one to two. And then rounding out the list, it is Lieutenant Kestel in the TIE Aggressor. Uh, Kestel can spend his focus to cancel all of the defender's blanks and eyeball results. Remember that defenders, or excuse me, attackers modify defense dice first. So if you uh, are able to take away basically all of the opponent's um, non-evade results there, they have nothing else to modify with. Uh, has that ion cannon turret, and then um, some real spice there uh, with the thread tracer missiles. Um, because they require focus to shoot, easy to use with Kestel's ability. Um, so if you don't need them to modify your dice, you can modify your opponent's dice. And hand out these locks. Uh, locks for the proton rockets would be really spicy. And then, of course, death rain and death fire uh, like locks for their munitions as well. Uh, so going over to the other side, uh, Jeff Weir flying Galactic Republic uh, has a pair of V-Wings here coming into the center of the board. Um, both of them rocking uh, the Besh title. Uh, allowing them to spend locks to convert a dice to a a single die to a hit. Uh, it gives them a bomb slot as well, so you get thermal detonators on these guys. Uh, one's a Shadow Squadron Escort. That's the I-3. Um, we see on the screen here. And then the other one's Wolhof Tarkin. Um, and he's rocking an R3 Astromech, so he can have multiple locks. Uh, super important for him. Because uh, his ability reads, during the system phase, you may choose an object that you have locked at range 1 to 3. Another friendly ship at range 1 to 3 may acquire a lock on that object. Um, so with the multiple locks, you can come on, get uh, some uh, one lock for what you're shooting at, and then another lock for your friend next round. You can merge fire on. Uh, of course, they have the uh, boost into red target lock. Um, so pretty easy for them to pick those up as well. Uh, we have a Jedi in Illuminara um, rocking the 7B title. So it gives them that 3-2-3-3 three, three, three stat line. Um, in addition, Luminara has got two force and is able to, uh, while a friendly ship at 0 to 2 defends, if they're not in the bullseye, you can spend your force to change a hit result to a eyeball and even a crit result into a hit as well so some real defensive tech there um she's so gonna need it with that reduced agility of the 7b title mm -hmm. uh, can also help out her friends then too like i said it's zero to two and then rounding out the list anakin skywalker in the n1 naboo starfighter brock and proton torpedoes uh, R2, Astromech, and Daredevil. So Daredevil's going to give them hard turn boost. Uh, R2, Astromech, uh, you can take, or you can get shields for weapons disabled. Proton torpedoes, obviously that big four dice attack at range two to three. That requires a lock. Um, and Anakin rocks his own uh, single force charge and can use it to uh, bear roll before revealing his dial. Um, so it gives him some added utility there. Um, and really unpredictable. With that Daredevil and the preposition bearer rolls, mm -hmm. it can be a lot of places. I I 100% agree. Now, if you've taken a look, the exclamation point list command has been updated with the correct link. That is 100% set to go. And I will tell you, Will, while you were breaking down those lists, it seems like the favorite has been identified as Andrew House's list right now, with currently having 72% of the vote, there's still probably about one. There's about one more minute left to uh, put your bets in here. How are you feeling about this matchup? Ooh, I uh, I do like Andrew House's list. A little bit of synergy here with the thread tracers, being able to really charge up uh, those munitions, and just really the the raw action economy. You got Death Rain taking multiple actions, the Barons taking multiple actions, Kestel handing out those target locks. 
Deathfire being able to uh, make multiple attacks if he's uh, killed uh, could be a force to be reckoned with. Um, though, uh, Jeff has plenty of tools to counteract these. Uh, this, uh, and namely, it's, it's speed. All of his ships are very fast and have the boost action as well. Um, and we see them kind of cutting through the middle here uh, while Andrew's just kind of sticking to the neutral edge. Ooh, we got a bomb drop already? Yeah, trying to get some extra oh. actions here, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, Death Rain, uh, let's, let me double check here. So, Death Rain, when he, remember, when he drops a bomb, can take an action. And those actions are Focus, Lock, Red Roll, Reload, or Reinforce. Mm -hmm. Or, excuse me, and Boost. I think I skipped over Boost there, too. So has uh, plenty of things to do. Let's see what action he ends up taking. Just I might wait. assume a barrel roll here. No, I'm just going to focus. Taking a focus. Taking he a focus. might be hard turning in. Yeah, you could maybe hard turn in and maybe catch that shadow squadron. I like uh, it. Sleeping. I like it. We'll see what we end up getting here. And Deathfire hitting the gas. Yeah, I didn't have room to turn in with his friends there. And maybe the the only real problem with Andrew House's list is the mixed initiatives. You got two from Deathfire, three from the Barons, and then four from Death Rain and Kestel. And we actually see Kestel here on the inside, uh, which might be preventing the Barons from turning in as hard as they want to. Now we got Deathfire scooping up a target lock here on that outside Shadow Squad, remember, Deathfire does have some Ion Torpedoes available later on in the fight. So maybe maybe the idea here is to uh, is to set up a flank with, uh, with Deathfire, potentially. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason that these Empire ships need to stick together. I mean, it's, it would be nice to be in range of whatever that Thread Tracer, thread tracer missile hits. Um, but not necessary. Yeah, that's one of the things that we've talked about a lot is the reasons for formation flying, right? Sometimes there's, um, you know, range abilities from a friendly ship that give you some type of uh, of boost. Of course, let's just talk about the, the fact that having all of your arcs pointed at the same thing is extremely powerful. Uh, but then there's also there's also a case for having them spread out and trying to see if you can converge them all on a single target uh, by not necessarily starting them together. They're making it a little bit more difficult for your opponent to uh, to grab the uh, you know to get it, an upper hand in positioning. Exactly. Yep. All right. Now, real quick here, shout out to our patrons. Shout out to Lan Bolo who uh, just got their Grand Admiral swag in the mail. Yes, our patrons should be receiving their swag. Any day now, stuff got mailed out this last week, and Land Bolo sitting down with the Breakfast of GSP Champions, a Gold Squadron podcast, PB and J, a, a GSP mm. and J, baby. <laughs> I also started with the PB and J. It's just the it's just the food of choice. We need a we need a hearty meal or a hearty snack uh, to get you through a couple rounds. That's right. I think we need to add um, add, would, add a uh, peanut like butter to... and jelly sandwich to our emotes. I'm pretty sure. We need to do that. Uh, how would you? How would it not look like just a piece of bread, though? Um, more to come later. Maybe like a half sandwich with peanut butter <laughs> and jelly, like okay, like kind of Ooh, sp spilling like a, out. Like the, yeah, like a split cut. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. What, what do they call those when you when you cut it in half and reveal the insides? Yeah. I don't remember. Um, but what I have remembered, uh, I just want to give a shout out to uh, N. E. Nas Jr. 3000 and uh, D. S. O. Oh, okay. oh man, D. Soul mm -hmm. uh, as well, dropping some subs in there. Um, Dion, uh, what is our goal right now? 150. 150 is the tip of top. We are to nearly the at the first third. Yeah. Nice. All right, now we see Death Rain oh, we see... reaching for a lock. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, Tarkin came in and was unable to get any locks on Kestel or Deathrain. Um, but he is in a great position hiding behind that gas cloud. I was just um, thinking these, that. For uh, these shots. Yeah, it might be able to bait out some uh, some of these missiles and uh, cause some misses. So that's going to be four dice plus mm -hmm. the gas cloud effect. There's a good chance that, that happens. Uh, plus you got Luminar backing him up as well. Yep. Uh, at least for Death Rain's shot. Um, oh, no. Looks like Kestel found that bullseye. But remember, uh, you say that, Dion, but Kestel, he can take away all your blanks, though. So you oh, won't you have right. it for gas cloud conversion. You're right. You're I right. know, we don't see Kestel very often, but I think it's one of the most powerful pilot abilities in the game. Are we just scared of Kestel? Just too much power? I mean, there's just there's there's just not a great way to run him. He's, he's a little bit awkward, yeah, um, to yeah, say the least. Is. All right. Uh, but affordable. This one's only 37 points for a good turret and a missile. That's very affordable. I would like to also bring to your attention that uh, the dice box will be on for the first roll. Okay. Hopefully. It says it's on on my side. I'm hoping that it's actually on. Because I'm trying to test it right now and I feel like I'm not seeing my test. Now I'm worried. <laughs> We'll find out. Well, yeah. Yeah, put something in the dice box. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's working. All right, cool. Well, I was trying to put the gray <laughs> hand, and for whatever reason, the gray hand was getting keyed out. It's fine. We're good. Gray, gray hands gray hands don't show, Dion. You, you should know. White hands show. Oh, is Dingus All right. Okay. Whew. Here it is. Bullseye attack. It begins. Yeah, we no, got he, you're right. Kestel has Tarkin range three through the cloud. Targeting there. Now, is he gonna spend a? Is he gonna spend a threat tracer? I don't think so. He can't, because Death Rain already picked up the lock. So who are you giving it to? Oh no, they stole the they stole the attack dice out of the tray. I've never seen that happen. All right, single All right. crit. One crit. Darkin's got five. With uh, the primary weapon here, uh, Luminara, double-checking the ability. Could turn it to a hit for fun, but Tarkin's got shields, so shouldn't be a big deal. Well, that's good. Always check your triggers. Mm -hmm. Double-check them, especially this early in the tournament. One at a time, and oh, oh, three plenty. Aids. No problem. Yeah. Everything is fine. Now this is Republic Tarkin. Still still a bad guy, but the the, the entire Republic doesn't know quite yet. What? I was gonna say I'm, uh let's not get into that. The re the Republican <laughs> might not be the, the good guys deal. Let's, <laughs> let's just say Are that. you sure? I don't know. <laughs> I, I am sure. Very much so. Uh, yep. Alright, so Death Rain is going to go with the Diamond Boron missiles. Are you sure? I think he's trying to push some I damage mean, It would through. be some beautiful splash damage, though. Uh-huh. Yeah, if you could get it to hit, and then you could get the Diamond Boron to splash into Luminara and Shadow Squadron. Here we go. We got one, two. Yep, he's grabbing for the third dice right now. I know it feels good to roll three dice, but at this point, I think it's better to to attack with the primary and save it. He's got two mods, though. Here we go. Well, you got the trail mix as the result. Hit, focus, blank. Are you... Ah, man, but spending the full modifiers on... I guess I mean you are, you are able to get them back decently easy, but feels a little bit bad doing it through a cloud, especially after seeing that last defensive roll. There's the lock focus for three. I mean, got the three. All That's right. good. We'll see what Tarkin does. Tarkin, of course, doesn't have any green modifiers on himself right now. And Ooh, hey, that hits. It does. It does. There you go. Rewarded for taking the risk here. 
So he could spend an additional charge to have Diamond Boron roll that uh, that additional die out there. James, if you can go ahead and throw it up. Yeah, throw it up because it's a uh, it's a whole paragraph. Yeah, it's a lot of things. There you go. Uh, so if you do spend see. the charge, the additional he's charge. The go ahead. Oh no, sorry, I was uh, saying something else. But what does it what does it say? What are they doing out here? So you roll one die for every ship at range one of the person who was hit, including the ship itself, range zero to one, and uh, you suffer the damage that's rolled. Splish splash damage. It doesn't look... Was there any damage done off there while I was reading it? The rolls were happening. It doesn't look like it. So I got off scot-free. Uh, I'm trying to tell him. I'm trying to tell him that that's zero to one. Target's also got a roll. There you go. There it is. Yeah. And Tarkin okay. is Ooh. doesn't take any additional damage, so only got one damage off of that. Honestly, I think for the cost of getting rid of two charges, um, not too bad. Not too bad. I think Jeff ends up on the upper side of this. Uh, yeah, I mean, could have gone uh, a lot worse for him, but uh, I liked I liked the gamble there. Here comes a little pew pew oh, from the super die. Tarkin. What just happened there? Did they unlock uh, the, the, <laughs> the dice? Are out of they? They somehow I, unlocked the uh, dice spawner. <laughs> I don't know how. I've never seen that happen. Yeah. Uh, this is Tarkin single hit one evade, no problem. All right, I'll try to make it a little more orderly. How about that? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, they're, they're locked in now. They're, they're yeah, I, I got I got them now. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so, uh, for the cost of a thermal and two diamond borons off of death rain, and that's only a single damage off of Tarkin. Not a bad trade um, for some resources. Um, though the uh, Galactic Republic does have limited health here. Um, only four on those V-Wings apiece, six on Luminara, and five to seven on Anakin. Um, doesn't really have too much to spare there. Uh, though I think, uh, so let's see, who has first player? I think it was... Empire. Empire does? Yep. Oh, they did they not yeah. place the? Oh, they they okay. took the coin. It was put in the wrong spot. Got it. Yeah. Okay, I see it now. Yes. Okay, so that's gonna be good for Anakin though, being able to go up and be able to get those proton torpedoes uh, with an easy three bank there, shoot it into Death Rain or those Barons if they try to skip over um, the I Force. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah it'll got, be interesting to, to be see. Careful. You don't want to bump into the the V wings. Uh, you just want to run into the V-Wings? Is that what you mean? Yeah, the, 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 it, you just got to go slow enough with the V-Wings to not run into them with the uh, Anakin. Mm. That's true. Yeah, and, I, I and don't it, know what Shadow Squad is going to do here. Cause... Go ahead, Anakin, go Anakin can make a little bit of space with that, with that barrel roll. You can always barrel roll back just a little bit. Try to get a little bit extra space there. Very true. Uh, yes, there does need to be a shield taken off the overlay for Tarkin. We'll get to that here in a second. We were we were trying oh, to trying to fix that, the uh, the dice apocalypse that was <laughs> happening here on the table. By the way, good, good team good teamwork there, James. Yeah, you you just you need to lock it while you're holding it. Yeah. <laughs> two two hands. That's right. <laughs> two hands. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Dion, all right, so let's, uh, let me ask you, if you are the Galactic Republic here, 
Um, what is your primary target? Is it that big death rain, or are you trying to take out one of the barons before it shoots a rocket? I mean, at this point, it's it's definitely going to be a little bit uh, target of opportunity, but I'd like to get death rain just because it is uh, 59 points out there. Death fire is, uh, is, is not even part of the fight right now. Um, Kestel, oh. Kestel is, is pretty cheap, so I'm not gonna, not gonna spend too much time chasing down Kestel, but uh, if you get an opportunity with everybody to shoot on one of the V1s, you probably should take it. And that, that's the, that's the problem with the V1s, right, is, is you don't want to just kind of do one shot into them, because you could end up, you know, like, oh, just shrug it off with force and evade. But uh, yeah. y you need multiple shots into those. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're willing. If they only need to, like, take a shield to shoot their pocket and, like, hold on to a focus token, they got no mm -hmm. problem doing that. But eventually, if you bear them down, they'll have to spend that focus and prevent the pocket. Ooh, we have some death rain thermal drops here. I'm always interested uh, in what kind of actions it's taking. I and mean, he's got like, he could lock, he could barrel roll from this position, maybe make some space for the barons. Mm hmm. You got all the options. Could also see a little bit of a disengage if, uh, if right now Andrew doesn't like his position. No, we're grabbing a reinforce that's reinforcing the front. Mm. And. Yeah, there's the combination. There's another. Man, those V-Wings are going to have to be going fast then, I have to assume, to get out of those bomb drops. It is a little sad to see the uh, the bombs go so early on Death Rain. Um, but he's got reload, though, and you get yeah. two back every time you reload. Mm-hmm. Yeah, reload, and they can, as long it as is. you have that one of those bombs, you could basically, you could trade one bomb for two. Drop a bomb, reload two, right. and, uh, and do it all over again. Yeah, not not bad. So then, are we expecting death rain to the, just one, like one bank? Two bank? Just like at the enemy? Uh, and I'm sorry, wait, I did. I mean, I, like I said, the big variable is. Go ahead. I said the big variables is the uh, those V wings, to where where they're going. Oh no! All right, the the. But you were you were, you were correcting yourself. Yeah, is that yeah. What you're gonna say. Yeah, the, the barons uh, don't have four. Sorry, I was thinking inquisitors as a barons of the empire. Sorry about that. But still, three three agility evade. Same same point less. Less um, defensive, but this is not looking good for Andrew. The self bumping with the double actions, not sure it's going to end up being worth it because the strength of those barons is having three agility. And uh, when you're taking two, potentially two thermal detonators, you're taking away their uh, their strength, their defensive strength. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure what the thought process there was. Uh, maybe he forgot to, like you said, barrel roll that death rain out of the way. Mm -hmm. Was more excited about taking a focus, or maybe he's like, you know what? Those are my in-game pieces. I don't, I don't need them right now in this initial joust. Hold them back for a bit. Gonna be hoping for some dice luck there. Here comes Tarkin, three straight bear, uh, boosting. Yep, he's going to link it into that R3 double lock. I'm going to lock up. Yeah, it just locks up both those Inquisitors. Mm -hmm. Or not Inquisitors. And now I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> locks up uh, the Varens. Now no, I puts one on. Death Tar Rain. Tarkin does have like the best title. Got to watch out for that. Spend the lock to change one of your blanks or focuses to a hit. So that Besh title able to give some offensive modifications. It looks like the Shadow Squadron is going in for a lock too. Trying to take advantage of the... Uh... 
Oh no, he, he put it on death rain. Kestel okay. busting a three bank out of the fight. See what what I feel like we're getting a little bit from Andrew House right now is um his his approach seems a bit I'm gonna call it disorganized, but maybe maybe a better term would be Kind of like not sure where to engage from, and that's why we're getting some awkward positionings here. Because it kind of felt like the agenda of Death Rain, Kestel, and Death Fire were were all a little bit different. And then the V1s kind of felt like they came to joust, but have been impeded mm -hmm. by the the initial placement that we were a little bit concerned about for Kestel and for Death Fire. Or excuse me, Death Rain. I know I'm mixing them up. I'm already mixing them up too. Um, but yeah, Kestel's reaching for, decided not to rotate that turret, went just with picking up an early lock here. And looks like Death Rain was able to get out of Tarkin's arc. Uh, already has the reinforce and focus token, so uh, looking for a lock, I assume, mm -hmm. uh, for those either the Diamond Boron or the Advanced Proton. He could bank boost and uh, link it into a lock as well and just punish that Shadow Squadron with a five dice double modified attack. Mm -hmm. We'll see if we end up getting oh, it. He's, I see. He's, reaching, he's reaching, reaching for that boost. Oh, can he, he can't go forward. Don't go forward. Uh, he oh, banked it. He bank. banked it. <laughs> Advanced Proton Torpedo so coming four, in. Four total actions on Death Rain this round. Love to see it. And there is the link lock. It takes a stress because it is a linked action. And we are moving into the engagement phase after Luminara and Anakin move here. Luminara moving up. It's going to have a nice shot. It's probably just going to be locking. Yes, there it is. Yeah, no no arcs on her. She don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a range three from a Baron, but no big deal. Got to take advantage of that uh, extra attack die you're getting from 7B. Adair42 in the, in the chat says, Oh, crap, I was supposed to play in this tournament. <laughs> uh, Adar, Ooh. you can actually get in with a round one loss if you already put in a list. So, you know, just just let uh, let me or D know if you'd like to do that. Cause hey, if you want to play, come play. Yeah, get those participation prizes. You're boasting about five individual prizes being given to mm -hmm. every participant. So, well, worth the the time. All righty, range one shot coming in. Oh, nope. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what Andrew's doing here. He's got to learn. He's got to learn to. Uh, you know what it, it feels. Hold, hold, hold left click and click right click. I feel like we're on a, uh, on a on a laptop with a suboptimal pad. Is what oh, it kind of felt pad? like. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. It's it's a it's a MacBook. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that was a crit conversion, and it's going to spin the focus for a full string here. No, he's going to save the focus. Oh. Is he is he sure about that? Is he sure about that? We well he got oh, he pushed. Four did, through. Did it. <laughs> so it worked out. Saving the, the focus. You end up one-shotting the Shadow Squadron. Seems good. Takes a damage engine and a direct hit on the way out. Wow. Nice. Yeah, looked into the future there. Knew the blank out was coming. Was not scared. 
Yeah, I mean, Death Rain's doing a great job. He's drawn a lot of aggro this round. Uh, and this was the round he was able to catch the reinforce then, too. Oh, yeah, we might have some bombs going off. We got so excited about the advanced proton torpedo. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't forget about the bombs back there, guys. Uh, the ones... Oh. Yeah, he's got he's we got a, you, he's got he's got a direct line. All right, the likely that attack. Yeah, no big deal. Um, looks like yellow is gonna eat both of them though. So Luminar will continue her big swing here after these thermal detonators go off. One shield off the yellow TIE V1. And... Two shields. Call it two Spider shields. One, two. Half points. Death Rain just griefing his own friends back there. That's right. Uh, he's like, I need actions <laughs> more than you need shields. <laughs> All right. So you got the half points there. They'll continue with the Luminara attack now. She had already uh, thrown a pretty big hit into... Uh, into there was three hits. Yep, there it is. Two hits, a crit, and a focus. Had the option to spend the focus. Oh, sorry, spend the force. Chooses not to. Which is a little bit surprising. Uh, he is. No, he is. He is. Okay, there we go. It just looks like maybe Andrew had uh, had rolled the dice before the decision was made. But ends up spending it. Three hits and a crit. And now they try to figure out reinforce shenanigans. Uh, Luminara is in the front. It's going to go ahead and spend the focus. Adds one evade with reinforce. Takes two damage. It's a hit and a crit that ends up getting through on death rain. So two shields down. Uh, yeah, that's going to open up that Proton Torpedo uh, from Anakin to push the crit through underneath the shields. Uh, looks like uh, it's M3 Emanator. Somebody asking about the prize support. Uh, yeah, there's a ton. Just for participating, you end up getting uh, five different items. You can go to goldsquadronpodcast.com for, uh, for that information. Click on the Galactic Championship Series and prizes. You'll see all the stuff that's there. Tons of stuff. Let us know what you think. Also, welcome. I don't think I've actually seen you in our chat before. What is it? What is what is that supposed to be? M Miller. Ah. It's Miller time. Ah, nice. <laughs> 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 thank you will <laughs> all right this is the no problem i was like why are you so confused about this i didn't see it all the, all the stick uh -oh. letters and numbers all right oh ends <laughs> up with four yeah yeah uh re-rolls into was able to keep his force as well and uh gets the full string here on death range only got the reinforce left and squiggle oh, gets the evade though um so just takes a crit uh hit crit right uh should be half points yeah hit crit should be half points on death ring um because of the reduced shield mm -hmm. leaving them only at eight it's like the opposite of hull upgrade dion yeah <laughs> did the overlay <laughs> automatically do that james doesn't look like it yeah, it does. It yeah, does? It did. it did. Okay, cool. And here's the hit. Yeah, 
yeah, angle deflectors there. Uh, well, let's see if we have what's the last couple attacks here, Baron's stuff. All right, well they're figuring out the damage. Uh, cause the, so the math on angle deflectors is that uh, you need to a get back the shield that you lost, and b get back a shield that it would have cost you just to buy a shield upgrade. Mm -hmm. Um. And normally it's you had to wait that versus just taking a regular focus action, but that's where I can get it for free. So, that's right. Um, it did its job. Ooh, Red Baron with no shot there, just out from everybody. Well, the yellow one will be able to try to take some revenge. Maybe it's a little angry after taking that bomb damage. Uh, from his own teammate, mind you. Uh, <laughs> going into Tarkin, range two. This is going to be two on two. One hit. The crit was a fuel leak. Sorry about that. We were they were having some issues with the uh, keystrokes over there. All right, no and problem for Tarkin there. Two evades. There it is. Three agility is. holding up. All right, we'll have a shot back with Besh. So guaranteed to get one. Remember, Besh allows you to change one of the results to a hit result, a focus or blank. And there it is, Besh. Oop, we'll see it right there. Spend the lock. Change the blank to a hit for two hits. Yeah, why re-roll it when you can just change it, Doom? That's just facts. Only got a single squiggle, guaranteed another damage going through there, and that means that that yellow uh, Baron is going to be sitting on a single hole at this point. Yeah, that's going to be some good um, target of opportunity for Luminar or Anakin. Anakin, I don't feel like you'd waste a proton torpedo on that, uh, but Luminar might be able to sneak in there. Yeah, I get a range one attack with Lumi using that 7B. Shouldn't be too scared. Yeah. Though I, you know what I kind of want to see? I want to see Anakin uh, kind of da dance with this Death Rain just a little bit. Because Death Rain can do some of the same shenanigans or similar, right? You got this like pre-movement thing that it's able to do using its ability, boosting, barrel rolling. Uh, I'm curious to see well, what, no what little dance we end up getting. Obviously, Death Reigns happens in the system phase and uh, Anakin before he activates. Well, remember, we did see that linked actions from Death Reign, so he is stressed right now. Oh. So no shenanigans. And probably won't drop bombs on his friends again. Yeah, probably. and quick, <laughs> again. real quick, <laughs> real quick here. Shout out Kellyana <laughs> dropping 17 gifted subs. What? That's right. We are already at 65. We are in round one. If you're not, if you don't know what the number seven, how the significance of the number 17, uh, welcome to the newest GSP community meme. 17. You had to be there, but uh, there, there's if you exclamation point 17. You'll you'll see. Okay, there I see James. You you brought it up. <laughs> I got I got you. <laughs> <laughs> So I had uh, someone mention uh, the math on uh, the angle deflectors. Um, angle deflectors is as cost as much as a hull upgrade on whatever agility you have, right? Uh-huh. Um, it's actually, uh, well, when you have one agility, it's the same as a hull upgrade uh, for this example. So they like said you need to make back the shield they lost to equip it. And you need to make back uh, the damage from the hull upgrades you could have just equipped for the same amount of points. So then, in theory, to actually make it better than a hull upgrade, it needs to block a third damage. We've seen it block two right now, so it makes it on par with just taking a hull upgrade. Mm -hmm. The same. But actually better then, because it blocked, it, it kept that crit on the shield... So this is true. This is true. So uh, probably right now it's right fractionally now it's better, better, right? Than the hull upgrade. 
Yep, just just um, a bit over. A little bit. I mean, kept the crit on the shield, right? So, um, essentially gave Death Rain four shields instead of just three. So, mm. right now, it works, I guess. It was one point cheaper than a... Uh, one point cheaper than a shield upgrade. I guess. Well, you, you also have to factor in the, the action economy cost, which is fine mm. on a ship like Death Rain where you have right. too many actions if you if you sure. have those thermal detonators. Uh, but on a normal ship, like an ARC-170, for example, it's, it's not too great because usually you want those to be offensive actions. Exactly. Yeah, that's... I mean, yeah, normally if you have, like, two agility or, uh, yeah, only a single action or something, it also is weighted against just taking a regular focus. So, yeah, if you would have just rolled a focus eyeball, you know what I mean? The reinforce didn't actually save you anything that round. Yeah. But, yeah. uh, interesting. Interesting yeah. math. I feel like reinforce also gets better the more health you have. Yeah, like for, for, example, for sure. Like the, 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 like the decimator, for example, like has a ton of health and not a lot of actions to use. Uh, taking that reinforce, and it just so happens to uh, synergize with a lot of the pilots, like Morna Key and uh, Rack. Yep, exactly. exactly. Rack being the best point there, for sure, because it gives you an offensive ability when you Morna, reinforce Morna, Morna Key. And uh, Morna Key is cool because you have two of them. Bam. Of two reinforces. Reinforced bubble. <laughs> Flank this. Actually, if you're flanked, both of those do nothing for you, but <laughs> it's neither here nor there. Yeah, it feels it feels bad. It's only sneaks in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember there was a one of the last store last in person event I played in, uh one of one of my opponents was who was awesome was playing Morna Key. And he had a turn where I was able to flank him, and it was one of those where I was like, "Oh man, <laughs> neither of those, <laughs> neither of those did anything." And are we getting? Oh, we're getting a a bomb drop from Tarkin, Savage. Tarkin says, "Let mm. him die, let him die." Yeah, best title. Oh uh, man, I wonder if they're turning away from that lane and maybe cutting towards Kestel then. Because obviously that lane's got some problems now. Mm -hmm. And I know it was quick, but he did actually uh, use Tarkin's ability to give Anakin a lock on uh, Death Rain. Oh, snap. Mm -hmm. Let's go with Tarkin's ability. Let me, yeah, let me go ahead. With both the... Uh, So that's during the system phase, you may choose an object that you have locked at range 1 to 3. Another friendly ship at range 1 to 3 may acquire a lock on that object. Yeah, so then in theory, then that friendly ship would also have to be range 3 to acquire the lock. Right. So it's a lot of restrictions there for range, but as long as everybody's, you know, close together, it's not a problem. And we got more yeah, there's a lot of things self that you gotta, like, make bumping. It, make it work. Look at that. That red, the red uh, Baron just smacked into the yellow, and oh, I know that red that red Baron wants to focus so bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, missing out on that procket this round because of it. Yeah, but looking at Tarkin's maneuver and the maneuver of those two V1s, um, minus repositioning, they think they would have bumped either way, and whichever one would have moved first likely ends up um, <laughs> unable to fire a procket, which is super sad. <laughs> All right, Death Brain try running, getting out, probably boosting, I would guess. Where are you going to go, big boy? W would you would you like a little bit of a Paint Wars spoiler, Will and James? Ooh. I like being spoiled. Yes. 
this season we will see a Thai Punisher painted. We will. Whoa. Yes, yes, we will. That that's spicy. Uh mm huh. -hmm. I'm saying, Dion, Dion. I know. I know a couple of the shifts, and I'm just waiting, waiting for. Um, I won't say the shift, but I'll say an imperial paint job. Uh, that I mean, I'm just so excited to see the the community reaction for because it's just glorious. Oh, it it's looks... the one you had to hide from Arwen. Yep. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, luckily we we have uh, extra copies, right? We're good. What of uh, the ships? Extra ships? Y yeah. Is that? What... Oh, of force. Oh, what is going on? How did he? Uh, it actually, How did that like, even happen? It got deleted somehow. Oh, oh, okay. That's what you mean by extra copies. I was so confused. Yep. I was <laughs> trying to trying to apply a sticker rear real fast here. It's taken me literally all game to get uh, <laughs> to get it off of that cling film. <laughs> all right, but we. I laughed at your struggles, Dion, but I was punished for it. Uh huh. Exactly. <laughs> got him. Uh huh. <laughs> my pain is your pain all right so as as they do that nano antonio asking how many small base ships are in season one i'm sure larger ships are a better canvas that's you know there there are some there's a mix there's a mix i mean so season uh episode one had a medium base ship right episode mm -hmm. two was another medium base ship um mm -hmm. episode three is a small base ship i think no it's an actually it's another medium base ship it's another medium yeah it's another medium <laughs> wow. episode four is another medium there's a lot of mediums this, so this you... season <laughs> i mean like you said i mean it's, it's a nice it's a nice big canvas right but there there is a challenge in uh in painting smalls actually let me go to our episode list i can check it out right now really quickly so we got let's see yeah medium 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 large small large that's the season <laughs> okay so there is a there is a small one there confirm. is there is a small one confirm all right so uh luminara di did go in the fine tune bear roll and lock uh that one one health yellow baron and we see Anakin here, bear rolling, using his ability by spending the force. Oh man, you're gonna take. I'm very concerned about these thermal detonators now. Yeah, uh, they have just bombing each other or bombing themselves. Love to see it. <laughs> uh, Wade snaps joining in with that prime was able to get his two. Your badge. Uh, Dune's got all, all these badges updated and ready uh, for your subscriptions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, throw an Amazon, throw an exclamation point prime we talked about earlier. Always a great way to support. Yeah, I, I should, I gotta get that up, that video updated with the newest, the newest language, but it is, it is practically the same. All right, Anakin rolling up, target lock. I don't think he's got range one. No, he's got he's got uh, regular proton torps. He's looking for range two, Dion. Oh, he's got regular. Oh, we fine. We fine. I know. I know. Used to Marcel running those uh, advanced proton on him. Man, this is a big bomb that hits three different in Republic ships here. First one's a crit on Tarkin. Oof. All right. So yikes. Luckily, it uh, has a shield, didn't it? So not too bad. Yes. Yeah, one on Luminara, and this is for Anakin. See if we can get a uh, just a strain there. Nope. But there is another bomb coming though. That wasn't that. That was dropped by Tarkin, right? So sure, that sure was. That was a true. I said all self bombs here. 
<laughs> yeah, only I'm just by myself. That's that's next week's strategy. That's the name of the game for both. You know what? It's an eye for an eye. Andrew did it just like, I got you, fam. Let's do this together. I got you. Let's see what it out here. <laughs> strain on Lumi. Strain on Luma. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Finally rolls a blank there. Um, Tarkin so lost a couple shields. Tarkin but... already switched sides, Will. That's what happened here. I, I feel like it. <laughs> I mean, he got hit by that bomb. He got punished for it. So. True that. Um, speaking of being punished, though, uh, the Empire is going to have a bad round. Uh, has the potential to lose both these barons here with uh, that focused fire. And start off with this Ion. Could be real spicy against this now strained Anakin Skywalker. Range two. I guess Kesto, I believe, switched his turret. Yeah, because it was yeah, on no the other focus. side before. Man, we got to get Andrew a mouse. Yep. Stop messing with me. Uh I'll reserve my Apple comments for the Twitch chat. But <laughs> uh, I've... Trust me, I know. I yep. know the uh, the struggles. I was just about to do the same thing, James. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so got well two dice and got one eye, and then re-rolled re them. For nothing. That's sad. That's sad, Kestel. Had a great opportunity there. <laughs> uh, you know, there's a six dice maximum, right? <laughs> no, but if they keep throwing them in the pit, then... <laughs> fair. Fair enough. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. Look, look what you've done. No, I I think he has. Oh goodness! <laughs> it's gonna be a team effort here. So hey, yeah. let me grab the ones from underneath. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. All right. We are, we are struggling. We are struggling this today. So let, uh, struggling. Uh, All right. <laughs> so my friends, the uh, today is brought to you by the letter L. <laughs> we did it. Let's continue here. All right, well, uh, Luminar got one hit, two eyes. Gonna spin the lock. Only has one force, so it's that. It's always that debate. Do you keep an eye or do you spend them all? I think with Luminar's ability, you just try not to use the force mm -hmm. and just reroll them all here. There you go. And you got a little trail uh, mix so there. That's a dead Baron. Yeah, even with the force expenditure, one still goes through. Oh, I'm still purple. Whoops. I'll stop doing that. Uh, just uh, just a pro tip, and again, a Andrew, I think he's he's one of our, our newer players. Uh, to a two TTS, uh, a mouse makes such a big difference on uh, <laughs> when when yeah. playing. Even if yeah. even if it's just one of like the really s small ones. Yeah, if you yeah, all you need is a anything. right click, right click, left click, and a center scroll wheel, and you are gold. Wait, do Max have a left? Do Max have a right click? They they do. You have, they, to, you have to you have to click with the two fingers. Oh, 
Okay. So I think that's what the problem is. Yeah, no, no, uh, uh, this is, this is, I would say, rare circumstances that we're having so much yeah. issues, but it's good to see, uh, it's good to see players jumping in, trying out, uh, the tabletop simulator, uh, getting those, uh, um, attempts at, into the, um, battle for Alderaan. Mm-hmm. Two hits coming in from Anakin on that Proton Torpedo. GSP mouse giveaway. I might just have to send one to Andrew. All right. Two focuses. Yeah. Changes one to a crit. Yeah, I already spent the force to reroll. Natties. And here comes right, moving on to I threes. Tie V one back. There's not going to be. Uh, this is just three dice, no procket because there was no focus on this one. <laughs> Trail mix expected result got one. And hey, you are going to end up doing that additional damage. One more card into Tarkin. I wasn't expecting that. No. Um, oh, Tarkin gets to shoot. But uh, as a note, Death Rain or Death Fire will have a shot. Tarkin didn't shoot yet, did he? No, he went right from nope. Anakin to... Not yet. Tarkin. There you go. Tarkin shooting right. first. Yeah, they got it. They got it. Yep, going range one. Into that Baron. And, ooh, got ooh. the full string. Sweet, sweet revenge, question mark. That red Baron is currently is full. Friendly? Oh, only a single no, no shield. No problem for a three agility ship. That feels bad, Will. No problem. <laughs> well, I mean, that was the expected result, right? Like, you're right. Um, you're right. You're right. Like, we... <laughs> just feels worse. It feels I mean, we worse. Saw it before, uh, the... <laughs> Nobody cares about your feelings, Dion. All right. So now Deathfire is going two on two versus Luminara here. And has the focus. Yep. Double eyes to two. And a single squiggle takes another Luminara shield down. Has a single shield left. By the way, hello to the 302 people hanging out with us this beautiful afternoon. Yeah, we got some chat in here. It's middle of time. Uh, saying, asking about the boogeyman of X-Wing. Um, people uh, replying, Zam and Bosk. Yep. Um, and also Zam, or <laughs> Zam and Bosk, and also Bosk with Zam. Mm -hmm. um, I've been very powerful right now. I mean, just the fire sprays in general. That whole chassis has always been powerful. 
Uh, you mean the the, the, the boss and with that one eighty degree arc? Yes, the YV. Yes. Yeah, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's uh what do I say? Unbeatable. We mm -hmm. certainly see plenty of them get beat. That's true. Um, but it is a very powerful piece, and uh, if you um, and I think that's uh, what do I want to say the uh, um, my definition of boogeyman is might be similar to like a uh, mm, well I'll say that like uh, it's it the boogeyman is very difficult to uh, play against in until you've uh, fought it a few times, which makes sense like boogeyman very scary because it's unknown. But once you once you know the boogeyman, he's less scary. Um, still not easy to fight though, um, especially uh, Django and Zam. Uh, those uh, the, those fire sprays very daunting. And if you don't know what they can do, uh, they could uh, give you a lot of trouble. But I mean, what? Uh, let me ask you, Dion. We've run a lot of events so far in this galactic. Uh, mm -hmm. Qualifying season. How many Django Zams have you been won? Mm, I don't think any. I don't think it's any. Well, we can go to goldsquadronpodcast.com. You're home for all all things Gold Squadron. If you go to Galaxy's Results, we can see the last couple events here. And, uh, we had a runner up, Django Zam. Uh, mm -hmm. That was against uh, Marcel. Yep. Yep. That's it. Uh, and then we had uh, uh, we had Andrew Weller uh, with uh, Heratani pulled yep. off the first one. Um, Virgil, who now I'm blanking on, was that the Han Finn gunboats? Uh, or not the, gunboats, tugboats. Uh, Virgil Hayward. Um, I don't. I don't remember. I did. Yeah. That's what, I. I started updating the graphics with the actual sh lists after that. No worries. I think that was the Han who pulled it off in the very end. I think so. And then uh, we had with Lando the, with the tugboats. Yep. Yeah. That yes. was Lando Finrau, Uncar, and, and Zuvio. And then in Dagobah, mm -hmm. we had the Lando yeah, so it's actually been... Asajj Bosk. Yeah. So actually, Scum's been just tearing it up here. Um, in all different varieties. And I don't, honestly, that boogeyman of Django Zam and Heratani um, has been making you know, top tables, but hasn't been able to uh, win the events uh, easily. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, it's not like you could just grab uh, one of these meta lists and take it all the way to the championship. That's, that's right. <laughs> right into the final table. Let's go. Yeehaw. Agreed, agreed. Well, here we go. Anakin scooping up a uh, another target lock, it looks like. Uh, what? Oh, no, that was an accident. Accidental click, maybe. Here comes Deathfire. Scooping up a target lock. Remember, Deathfire is currently equipped with those ion tor uh, excuse me, ion missiles. Yeah, I'm interested to see who's targeting his because that. Tarkin's going to get, uh, can probably arc dodge you with a barrel roll. Mm -hmm. Um, so, but he still goes, still goes for him. He's trying to scoop up those points. He sees the uh, time is running low. We got five minutes left. 55-63. Jeff is currently in the lead. Andrew creating a little bit of a kill box for Tarkin right now. Oh, 
Oh, it, yeah, did he? That, I think but... he did. He already arc dodge him. I think he's out. Ooh, he's at a funny angle after that bump. Is he just gonna guarantee it? Uh, Dion, double check that time because the time around the table just yep. went off. Oh well, if their table timer is up, then that is game. Yeah, I, I, I changed it to the global timer. Got it. The global timer is also up though, isn't it? Yeah, I changed it to the global timer that because they didn't know what it was. Oh, no worries. Got it. All right. Well, time. Oh, oh the table clock. I see what you're saying. All right. Time in round. So this is the last round, everybody. Death rain is is not pointing a way where he can actually help out. Jeff has got to play this smart. You don't want to lose half points on, on Luminara. Just get out. He was making space for Anakin here. Oh, nope. Hit barrel roll on the wrong ship. Barrel roll boosting to the right. Yeah, because what's the what's the points right now? Fifty five to sixty three. Yeah, super close. Oh, focus! He doesn't think that the boost will get him out of the arc. Yeah, that's actually really close. Well, maybe Anakin and Luminara can work together to make this happen. Like you said, made space for Anakin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I always forget that those Naboos have short maneuvers. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, uh, that they have one banks and one forwards. Uh, so uh, taking advantage of that, they're going to lock uh, with that force, being able to double modify that three dice attack. Uh, could really put some hurt out. And because both of those two are initiative four, could take it off the board before it fires. Kessel doesn't have the opportunity to shoot at Luminara. All right, Anakin will be taking a shot though here. Let's see. I think he's going for the tread, thread tracers. Has oh, the focus, giving uh, Deathfire and that Baron a better chance. Mm-hmm. And spend for two. Yeah, the math is kind of funny on that on Kestel there, but I think that's the right call. Natty's nope. no target lock. Get out of here. Yeah, Anakin may have secured the win there. We'll see what the uh, the I four Republic ships can do. And there it is again, another trail mix. Lots of average dice, which I mean, that's what you want to see. You want the flying to be the thing that matters here. Here's the lock. What can you get? You got another result. Anakin can spend the force for yeah. three. Is gonna stay aggressive. Spends for three. We got three agility coming in from the Baron and is going to be taking a single hit. That is half points. Yep, that might uh, that might just secure the lead here. Um, especially, I mean, if they could just kill off this Baron, uh, the game is over. Death Rain won't be able to make up the points. So full full send it is, Dion. Mm-hmm. Oh, I need a... Uh, no squiggles here. And got the two. Baron survives. Ooh, Andrew's got a chance now. 
So what's the math on it? They have to do the one shield to Luminara to pull ahead, James, is that right? Uh, yeah, if they do that, they'll get 29 points, and that'll do it. Wow. Oof. Yeah, two unmodified shots, though. Will it but be enough? He needs to do three to Anakin, which will also get it. I mean, well, I feel like... Yeah, the one... The one damage would be easier there. Yeah, That's well, just, uh, three agility versus two. No, Luminar's got 7B. Oh, 7B. Yeah, okay, fair. <laughs> All right, and James, quick oh, note. he got the two extra shields. Quick note here. Let the players know that you'll put the results in for them because we got to get moving. Okay. At the end of this game. Ooh. That's a blank out from the Baron there. All right. It comes down to Death Fire. Going to have to naturally roll at least a hit here. To even have a chance. And one All hit. All right, Luminara just needs paint. And we're fine. Oh, easy. Woo. Good game. Congratulations. That was a close finish. Congratulations to Jeff Weir for winning the first round of the Galactic Championship Qualifier. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.